Hello friends, my name is Coco and you don't know me and I don't know you, but I'm very happy you're alive today. Failure is kind of a funny thing. You know, we feel it and typically, you know, when you feel failure, you kind of hit the ground and then you dust yourself off and you get back up. But when you have depression, when you hit failure, you fall down and all of a sudden you have these heavy weights on you. And each weight is a question of your capability of existing sometimes. You know, why did you do that? How come you said it that way? Um, how come you didn't try harder? You should have done this. You didn't do this enough. And da 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 as it goes on. And we start to eat at ourselves so much that even when we look at other people, all we see is their successes. And, or we see the resilience of when they fell and we question why we can't do it and how come we can't even, you know, bounce back from failing. And it just continues and it continues and it continues. But the thing that we don't understand about failure is life is full of failure. And that's actually how we act, we're, it's the only way we can actually succeed, I think is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, you read up about how celebrities who failed heavily, you read up about other people who failed heavily and then persevered, and you see those things, but you don't really let them set in to, do, to understand that these people felt like you. There was a moment in time where these people really wanted to give up because they continued to fail and they questioned themselves, and they probably said the same things that you've said, too. And... What we don't see is, all we see is a success again. We don't see the fact that they did fail at one time because we say, well, they made it in the end. But, man, that failure really kills sometimes, you know? And um, it's just things that we need to actually try to understand. Some of the most advances that we've had as a human race has come from failure, you know, or things that we worked really hard on, um, somebody decided to make it easier for and all of that was done through failure. Uh, most scientific discoveries were done through a form of failure, you know? You have how many attempts and how many failures before you actually have a success. Um, the world around you is full of failures. You see it with some animals. You see it with, um, you know, like there's like, if you type in fail, like anything fail in YouTube or the internet, you're gonna see a whirlwind of things that are fails. And I guess what I'm trying to say is don't think that your failure is going to weigh you down so much that you disappear into the core of the earth. You know, you're going to get up and you're going to be better and stronger from it. And I know it doesn't feel like it right now, and that's okay. Sometimes that failure is like a knockout. We, we, need, <laughs> we need to get some rest and kind of retrain again and, you know, go jogging up some stairs and uh, feelings of completion and, uh, you know, beat up a frozen piece of meat. And anyway, um, <laughs> you just have to tell yourself after you get over those things that you will get up, you will try again. Um, because the only way to go up from there, kid, is up. So don't beat yourself up on those things, okay? Don't beat yourself up on the things that you didn't succeed in because you know what? You only know success by knowing failure first. You don't know what success is until you really fail. And from there, Everything at that point feels like a success. When you really hit bottom, any little positive thing feels like, you know, like a success. But that's just what I wanted to share with you. I think we put so much weight in failure and we're so afraid to do things because we're afraid to fail that we either don't do anything or when we fail, we fail so hard that we feel like we can't go on, we can't keep existing. But the world is full of failures. You're not the first to fail and you won't be the last. We just have to get up and keep going because... That's how we succeed, right? So just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't know if it made much sense, but I've been thinking about that over the last couple of days. And when I failed in the past, I failed really hard, and I let those failures kind of dictate how my life was going to be. But instead, I should have told myself, you know what? I, I have failed the hardest I could fail. The best I can do is go up and move on, and maybe I would feel a little bit more accomplished in the things that I wanted to do instead of just letting that failure hit me like a ton of bricks. You know, we can always take off those weights that are holding us down to the ground, but we have to actually let them go first. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today, okay? Um, I love you all. <laughs> Do the best you can. That's all that anybody asks for. And remember, I am very happy you're alive today, okay?
All right, my friends. Well, I hope you have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.